Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again spitting Mo Crypto Game. So I feel this is going to be an important video, especially if you're trying to get really heavy involved in the crypto game. I mean, if the game is dirty everywhere you look. Traditional finance right now, hyperinflation, people can't go to work, you know what I'm saying? People getting paid not to go to work, you know what I'm saying? Uh... BlackRock's coming up, buying all the real estate. It, it, it's, it's looking real dirty in the traditional finance game. You know what I'm saying? And even in the crypto game, you got influencers, you know, somewhat purposely dumping the market. You got all types of FUD from China. I mean, you got rug pulls and scams. And now we got hacks going on, even more hacks. And specifically, they're talking, targeting the NFT community and the uh, designers of the NFT community. So here's, an, uh, here's a big NFT designer. Really terrible day. My MetaMask got hacked, and now my FE, FND account is compromised. Opened a scam project proposal with the .scr file and a Microsoft Word icon. Any experience with this before? Trying to figure out what to do. So this person got hacked. Trying to figure out, ran a script with my password. C phrase got compromised. I restored my window. So I'm going to leave these links in the description. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do have to go over some of these tweets. So, an NFT designer got hacked. 3D art designer. That's a big deal. That's a big deal to lose your private keys and lose all your NFTs. That's a, that's, that's a career devastating uh, loss right there. And we got another one over here. Uh, another big uh, NFT, I guess, NFT collector right here. Be, be really careful out there. I was dumb enough to not overlook this and open the scr file and got my made a mass swipe from a to z all my tokens gone they got all his shit bruh nfts and all they tried to access my other app but my two-factor authentication blocked them i'm an idiot uh don't be like me and secure your shit so uh it shows the tweets of what happened right somebody basically uh manipulated them to open up a project file and then they said, send us your ETH address. Oh, no, ETH address, 15 minutes to answer me. Then they switched the whole game up, started acting psychopath right here. So I'm going to leave all these links in the description so you can check them out yourself. But this dude lost 40,000 AXS. That's uh, axes. I don't know how much bread that is. You can go on CoinGecko and look that up. But that's a lot of bread, uh, including all your NFTs. So they're coming out. They're, these, these, these scammers are coming off some of the, the biggest... NFT collectors and designers. Okay, new scam just dropped specifically targeting art artists. The file seems to be a virus. Okay, you can check that out. He said, yeah, I got scammed right here. Okay, fish and scam alert. This scam is making the rounds, and I've already seen uh, several of my friends and other NFT artists get hit. All right, remember open file. Uh, remember open files from strangers in a virtual machine are not at all. Don't have all coins in one wallet. Don't store private keys on your computer. All right. So I'm going to give my opinion uh, about this as well. I'm just showing you uh, the general overview of what people are, how people are reacting and how people are letting everyone know, you know, what I'm saying alerting everybody. Uh, on, all right. So let's get into how to prevent this and, you know, how you can not get into having this situation happen to you. It says owning a hardware wallet does not mean your wallet is secure. Okay. Uh, so and so had a hardware wallet, and the seed phrase uh, was not secured properly. Uh, properly, a digital copy away on, was on his computer. Your seed phrase needs to be in a code, as in no digital footprint. Okay, and we'll get into all that later. Sorry, I should have had this. Uh... All right. So, best practices for securing your wallet. Too long, didn't read. Use a hardware wallet. Make sure the seed phrase on your wallet is cold. Test your recovery, have redundancy and security over your seed phrase. Details below. Okay? I'll mm -hmm. leave all this down below so you guys can go into detail. All right? About how to how to stay safe. All right? Important hardware wallets do not stop hacks completely. Once you've downloaded a random executable and your computer is owned, it's possible for the attacker to hijack communications between the computer and the hardware wallet, sending in malicious data for you to sign. Okay? So, as soon as we learned of so-and-so's computer and wallet had been compromised, we helped to secure his assets and minimize the damage. So these guys helped them out. That's the beauty of this whole crypto community is people will do the best they can to have your back if they see you take a loss. You know what I'm saying? I as well. 
Below is a postmortem of what we did to help and how you can take precautions and to secure your wallet. So, like I said, I'll leave all this below in the description. Now, small thread on the recent hacks to NFT artists and how to prevent it. This is what I really want to go over. First of all, if you are a Linux or Mac user, you are probably savvy on these kinds of stuff. Also, your operating system is built from the grounds based on uh, security. So hardly any attacker will get full access to your computer. This is for Windows users. All right, so this is mainly going to affect you if you use Windows. If you are a Windows user, the first thing you need to do is configure your system. Always show file extensions. Always no exception. I'll edit this out. So here, I'll leave all this down below. Here's what I want to get into. Stop using Windows. Start using, start using Linux. Start using Linux. Most of this would have been prevented if these people use Linux and took some basic computer science slash programming course to understand what different file extensions are and what they mean and what operating systems they open up on. All right, there's, there's a thing called permissions in computer science and you can set up different permissions. There's writable, readable, and executable. Okay, executable means it starts the moment you click it, it executes. But, some, but if you, you can disable that or you can enable it. So let's see if I pull up my Linux right now and go to ls l all. All right. So you see over here it says RW, RW. And it shows these are permissions for different users. There's only one user on my computer. But that's read, write, read, write. And I, can, I don't want to go super into detail. But then this X is executable. So it lets you know what user is, uh, Linux lets you know and control the different types of permissions you have based on the account you have all right so just little things like that you're gonna it's gonna keep you aware and Linux is just so much less hackable hackers know that majority of people who aren't educated on computers use Windows and therefore you become more of a target so level up your skills hit me up for the programming uh, you know I'm saying mentorship cryptocurrency mentorship I study cybersecurity I study cryptography I study this technology you know what I'm saying I'm not saying I'm I'm always gonna be safe but I use Linux for a reason, and I highly recommend it to you. You just lower your lower your attack surface dramatically, dramatically. So stay safe out there. Don't give away your private keys. Don't get into too, too many rug pulls. Uh, you know, diversify into stable coins. Hit me up for the consultation. I'm gonna let you know all my various forms of risk management. I'm gonna let you know how I lost money, how other people lost money, and how to stay safe. And as far as the hardware wallet goes, yes and no. Okay, it is inconvenient. And when you, and in some ways, the inconveniency can really cost you more than having a hot wallet such as MetaMask. So to each its own. But the hardware wallet is so many more extra steps, and even then, that can be compromised. The people who got a ledger got their information leaked because Ledger was collecting all their data, so their crypto was safe, but now their information's being sold on the dark net of their address of where they shipped the Ledger. So I'm telling you, this game is so dirty. Even if you were to ha have a hardware wallet, you can be compromised in a lot of different ways as well. So uh, do the best you can, uh, lay low, stay safe, and holla at your boy Crypto Roots. Peace.